Hello, uh, today we're going to be looking at the UI switch, which is basically just like a light switch. It's either on or off, and you can use it to set different properties on in your program. Um, so let's get started. We'll create a new project. We'll just call it Switch Fun. Uh, leave everything default as usual. Increase the screen a little bit. And then we'll go to our storyboard. I'll change the color of this just because uh, just I like to. Okay, so now that we have our basically our background screen, we can start adding to it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to add is a label. And this label we're just going to use to set the hard to show what the text is or what the state of the switch is. So we'll say switch state. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Let's make it uh, about 35. I'm just going to actually use this to. Set the size of it. Can center it. Uh, we can add missing constraints to it, so it should look like this on our um, preview. Then I'll add another label underneath it. This one will make it a little bit smaller. I'll say on. I'm going to give this a little bit more room to grow and maybe center it as well. I guess we can make it a little bit larger. All right, um, same thing. We'll add some constraints to it so that it should look like this when we run our simulation. Now all we have to do is add the switch. And, be, and by default it's on, but we could change it to off, but uh, we're not going to change it for now. So let's see what a preview looks like. Let's see if everything's kind of, well, I think we forgot to add constraints to this. Alright, so now let's see what it looks like on the phone. Ah, it looks pretty good. So now we're ready to actually write some code to get it to function the way that we'd like. So all our interaction is going to be going on with this switch. And we just have to make a, a connection to our actual code. So we'll oops. So we'll drag it in here. We'll just say M switch for a name. It's now connected. We also want to add another connection that's going to be called value changed. It's kind of like when we use the touch up inside for a button, but this time it's going to be related to the value of the switch. Let's call it switch change. And so now when the switch changes state from true to false, it will always go into this function. We need to also connect this since we want to change its value in code. Let's call it uh, state message. So now all we have to do is write a couple of lines of code to change uh, this whenever uh, this ch state changes. So we'll start off with an if statement. We'll say if, and we'll use our switch, which is m switch. So we'll say m switch, and we'll say dot on. 
So if it is on, we're going to add code to change the name of or the value of our label, which is state message. State message dot text is going to equal to on. And then if we say if m switch if m switch dot on except we're gonna say not on say state message dot text equals off. And so now when we change this, we should see a change in this. So let's run it and see what we get. Okay, so now that our program is running, so as the state is on, we should get it to off and back on. So now we see that our program is actually reading the state of the switch as the switch is changed and it changes our label. So we can use this, obviously you probably use it for a little bit more in your programs, but this is just a simple example of how to set up a switch in an iOS application. Uh, thanks for watching.